Hello everyone, and especially you, members of the LGBTQ community. Why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? Huh? What's your excuse? You don't, you don't like oppression, right? So why are you oppressing others? That's what I want to know. If you don't like oppression, why do you pay for your people to do it to another group of individuals? Innocent, turkeys, pigs, lambs, sheep, rabbits, all of these innocent animals who are exploited in the industry. Why do you pay for that? And at the same time yell, oh, but I'm so oppressed. Meanwhile, you are doing the oppressing yourself. So just stop it. All members of the LGBTQ community should be vegan because let's go over what the definition is. Being vegan simply means being kind to animals. Okay, remember, it's not about food. Can you be kind to animals? I think you can handle it. Just means when you go to the store, instead of taking the, the cow's milk, you just take the soy milk. Can you do it? Look, watch, it's like this. There and there. Easy, right? When you want to go back to your old habits of eating eggs, you simply go, uh, nope, I'm not gonna buy eggs anymore because I don't want to pay for these innocent animals to be exploited. The chickens in the industry, the baby boys who are put on these assembly lines and crushed, murdered, because you pay for it. You members of the LGBTQ community, you're my focus today. Now let's remember before you go crazy and say, oh my God, she's discriminating so much. Remember that I'm also in your gang. I'm bisexual, I've come out of the closet 100 years ago and nobody gives a shit. Nobody's ever hassled me about it. I, there's never been a single bit of prejudice against me. So I encourage you also to come out if you want to. But of course, coming out as a vegan animal rights activist, that is something. That is much more special because it is not just about you. It's about ending the oppression of others. It is thinking beyond yourself. So what are you waiting for? Be vegan. Go back to your roots. You were born vegan. You never wanted to hurt animals. Go back to your roots. Be an animal defender. Stop claiming that you are being oppressed while you are oppressing others. Be morally consistent. Don't be a hypocrite. And join us. Join us on this channel. Like, subscribe, press the notification bell. Help us get the animals out of hell. Come out of the closet and say, I am an animal rights activist. I am an animal defender. But brace yourself because vegan phobia is going to come after you. People are going to be like, what the hell? Because you're going to start to make them feel guilty and they don't like it. But you know what you say to yourself? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they don't like it. Because it's the right thing to do. To speak up on behalf of the Ill innocent billions of animals who are suffering right now on factory farms. They are living a holocaust. They are. Think about what happened in the holocaust. The other holocaust. You know, the one during World War II. You know what the Nazis did? Think about all the things that they did and then just look at what we do to animals today. It's the same thing. It's a mirror of it. So it's getting dark out here, but in summary, all members of the LGBTQ community should be vegan. They should be animal defenders and they should join me here on this channel. They should subscribe and they should make their own videos talking about how it is wrong to hurt animals. Remembering the definition, being vegan simply means being kind to animals. If you say, I don't want to be vegan, it's like saying, I don't want to be kind to animals. Is that what you want, really? Well, okay, can't stop you. But you know what? There are good and bad people in every single group. There are good people who are members of the LGBTQ community, and there are people in that group who are complete assholes. And look, I'm gonna tell you something that I said in another video before too. One thing that shocked the heck out of me recently is I met a vegan who was prejudice. I was in complete shock. I mean, this is somebody who lives in my neighborhood and I found out that this person is prejudiced against dark-skinned people because she said that she thinks that they shouldn't be mixing together and mating. And I was like, what the fuck are you saying? So look, I'm the first to say that there are some vegans out there who are maybe not as nice as they should be. But honestly, I think some of them, those are just real exceptions. Like people have a screw loose, like there's something seriously wrong. It has nothing to do with the fact that they're vegan. They just, they just messed up in general. Anyway, I'm here outside of a school. I ended up here at this school. This school is actually where I did an, inter an internship when I was uh, in university to become an English teacher. English as a second language. This is a French school. 
And the interesting thing that happened at this school is I had written a song about inclusiveness, about includes the, including the LGBTQ community, including people with we, in wheelchairs, uh, encouraging women to be astronauts and all this type of stuff. And the, my, uh, the teacher who was observing me at the school said to me, you know, your song's great, but you just had to take the part out about, about the, oh, here's a flag, I mean, a, a rainbow. You just had to take the part out about, um, about the, the gay people, you know, the rest of it's all great, but just take that part out. And I was like, why? And she said, well, the parents are gonna get upset. I said, about what? About what? Gay people are allowed to get married. They're allowed to be together. We, they, they should be allowed to adopt. Like they're just minding their own business, just loving one another. And she said, well, you know, I just don't want the parents to all be calling the school principal and everything. So I had my first, uh, you know, episode learning about how the school system says that they are so open, but they're not. Mind you, that was a, quite a few years ago now because I taught in the school system, not this particular school board, but I taught in the school system for nine years. And then I quit to start working here. But anyway, that's just a little anecdote. Another reminder to you guys that this is a good kind of Halloween decoration. Look at that, natural stuff. Don't be buying all that plastic and crap and putting that all over your lawns. All those dead bodies and ghosts made out of whatever the plastic is. You know, plastic takes like hundreds of years to decompose. Okay, just don't do that. That's now I'm getting on a big tangent. But anyway, I'll just say goodnight to you now. Go vegan, start now. Coming up on the screen are gonna be a bunch of other videos. Click on them, be curious. Look around that vegan teacher's site. I gotta go and carry and catch up. My husband's way ahead there with our dog Bella. And I said, oh, I just wanna do a quick video. So I will see you soon. And uh, yeah, that's it, bye.